Hi there, uh, it's the 6th of August, uh, I haven't done a um, video clip for some time really, just had different things going on. Uh, today what I'm going to talk about is using my, my daily preparation yeah, for trading. Uh, I think all traders should have a, a daily preparation plan and uh, I'm, I'm going to go over it with you now, uh, very briefly. It's uh, the, the whole purpose of a preparation plan really is to establish uh, good habits. So one of the first things I like to do is to get an idea of the market. So I think about how it went yesterday. I think about the levels uh, of the market yesterday, the high, the low, and the close, also the opening. Uh, and these are very important and you need to record those because it lets you know if the market is an outside day, uh, if the market is going to be trending up more aggressively higher or aggressively lower, what's happened overnight, also what's happened, say, in the Asian market. Now, uh, on a fundamental level, uh, I like to have a look at uh, Danske Bank's uh, market reports. Uh, that gives me a very good overview as to what some of the institutions are looking at and what they consider to be market movers. It's quite comprehensive, I, I find, uh, in its view. Uh, and it just gives a daily report, mainly from a, a, a Nordic or Scandinavian point of view. Okay. One of the good things about the uh, Danske uh, reports are that they don't just do a daily report, uh, they also give a, sort of like a market focus, sort of uh, a wrap up, uh, you know, like what's happening over the, uh, the holiday period or uh, FX, uh, on the corporate bond side, government bond side, uh, all different, you know, all different types of views uh, in which to consider. Uh, from there, I like to go on the technical side uh, and I sort of have a look at the DAX, I have a look at the technical analysis uh, areas, uh, the moving averages. I'll go to bar chart for that, it just gives me a general sort of overview uh, as to what the product is doing uh, and getting the levels. Uh, from there, what I like to do is to go mainly to my uh, call it a trader preparation sheet. It's a sheet which I used when I used to be on the prop trading floor, although the floor I had, they had their own particular style of uh, trader preparation sheet. This is one I adapted to myself, or for myself, and uh, on it I have essentially what my trading philosophy is, which is to trade what I see. I trade on the probabilities of what I feel might happen. Uh, there's no certainties. And then, more importantly, I accept the risk. Uh, this steers me as to the way in which I'm, I'm looking at doing it, which is sniper trading. Hopefully waiting for the opportunity. I uh, put it up there to remind me again. Uh, something else I put on is how awake I am. Uh, when I was on the trading floor, I, I happened to notice sometimes that maybe I got up very early in the morning, I'd done the, the daily commute, I was pretty tired, and I'd be doing trades, not realizing I was tired, or maybe I had a heavy night the night before. And so when I'm trading, I'm not really sort of like uh, in tune with the market. So just having how awake am I is bringing to my consciousness, you know, what is my condition? What state am I in? And then I, I grade it. And if, if I'm grading it, say, five or six, then maybe I should just take myself a, a coffee break. Uh, if I'm sort of seven to ten, then that's pretty good. And also remind myself what it is I, I really need to, to do and have, which is patience. Uh, to read the news, that news is uh, obviously uh, that news is uh, that news would be uh, as I said, the Danske Bank. Uh, anything else I can see? Uh, notes for the day. Now, look, on the notes on the day is where I write down the main event. So, something like today, for example, I've written down uh, is the U.S.-China trade talk woes how China has devalued its currency, uh, also the German economic slowdown, yeah. Uh, then what I do uh, is I fill in the economic uh, announcements for the day, the significant ones really, the ones which are going to, you know, I'm not really too interested in Mexico, Brazil, for example, or even Argentina. It's mainly the European levels, uh, China, uh, the Asia session, uh, and US. Yep, they're the main ones uh, which I write down. And even I mean, because I trade the DAX, it's predominantly what's happening in the German market uh, or Euro uh, area, but not sort of Euro countries. So if it's something like Australia or India, uh, you know, 
Italy, France, not too greatly concerned. Uh, obviously, so look at I use trading economics for that. Yeah, trading economics is the one I use for that. Uh, so now I put the highs and lows. I used to trade the butterfly spread on the uh, boom bubble shats and also butterfly spreads and oils, and that's the hangover from those days. Uh, to let me know what the fly is, but now I just use the, the high and lows of the uh, the DAX. Yeah. So uh, at the end of the day, I will put my uh, PL, my gross PL, my round trips, and also my net PL. With the gross PL, it's the PL which I had uh, uh, before I've taken away uh, commissions, yeah, or, of the round trips. Uh, that is because obviously. Uh, the commissions can eat in. Um, for example, uh, in 2000, back in 2008, actually when I first traded live on the oil markets, uh, I had um, my P&L when oil crashed from 145 down to 45, literally within like a few days. Uh, my gross P&L uh, was one dollar. Sorry, wrong. One lot or ten dollars. But my round trips for the month actually was somewhere like, I don't know, 300, 400. So it worked out that my commissions was around 3,000. So that was my net PL. Okay? So you've got to factor in what your commissions are. I also uh, rate my performance on the day and also whether or not I took mind of the risk reward ratio and whether I stuck with my trading plan. See if it's a regular theme. I like to put in what my PL level was during the day. What was the highest amount I could have had during the day? What was the lowest amount I had during the day? What was the amount I ended up to? And whether or not I uh, kept stuck with my uh, stops, or my stop losses. I like to have uh, 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 NB CNBC uh, running in the background as the squawk. I used to have uh, squawk itself, but at £250 a month, it was a little bit of a luxury. And sometimes it was only going off the uh, economic announcements, uh, which I could see for free anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, there you go. So once I've got all that, and especially with this trading sheet, it brings to my mind what I need to look out for. Uh, obviously, I'm uh, conscious and ready for the day uh, uh, and, and the market movements. So that's it, really. That, that's all, all I do. That's my daily preparation.